Nothing like waking up in the morning, having some bacon and eggs, and some grape drink, right? Oh, there's a lot better. You're right. You could have pizza instead. I don't know. I had nothing better to say. But anyways, hey guys, well, we got a match here today against uh, Yaus17LGX or something like that. I don't know. Weird fucking name. But it is an Uber's match because I was in the mood for an Uber's match. I was like, hey, Uber's match. And this guy was like, okay. So uh, yeah, I'm using that same team because I really didn't feel like building a new one. So it's like, whatever. It's just there. Um, his team, it, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's standard in Uber's, but he just got a bunch of threats, obviously. Uh main thing I'm looking at is that fucking Ho-Oh, because I am never good against Ho-Oh with this team especially, but just in Ubers, the little bit I've played, Ho-Oh always finds a way to wreck my shit half the time, so I gotta mainly watch out for that Ho-Oh, otherwise it's like, I just gotta conserve my dudes well enough to take care of everything else, like I gotta make sure I either save uh, Latios or Equaza for his Blaziken, and then... Kirim W will put in some work against a bunch of his team, and then Genesect, obviously, as you can tell from his team, should be a help out too, so mainly I just gotta make sure I keep an eye on my, uh, Kirim, my Rayquaza, and my Genesect, and I should generally be okay, but, uh, yeah, otherwise, his team, like I said, ho is the main thing, and, uh, you know, there's not much else to really say about his team, but, yeah. Anyways, leads on his end, um, I, I, I'm just thinking he's just gonna go off with, uh, fucking Groudon. If he goes off with anything else, I do have perfectly good switches with other things, so I'm just gonna go with Kiram, and hopefully it's for the best. If he leaves off with, like, like I said, Blaziken or something, I have pivot switches I can use, so whatever, but he's gonna lead off with Groudon. I'm just gonna go straight for Ice Beam, because even if he switches out to, like, Blaziken or something, uh, it's still not gonna like an Ice Beam, and I can try and, like, see if he has Protect or anything, so I'm just gonna go straight for Ice Beam. He's gonna go into the Giratina, which will not appreciate an Ice Beam, because most Giratinas I've known are physically defensive, so he probably won't take this Ice Beam well. I do score a crit, which just means one less turn of life or damage, because obviously I would have been able to take him out with another if he wasn't special defensive. Plus, the fact that I got a crit means I would have at least done 50%, so yeah. But now he's gonna go into Ho, I'm just gonna stay in and get some damage off, because I just want to see what he wants to do. And I do go for the Ice Beam, and he does outspeed me, which shows me that he is Scarfed. So I'm like, okay, well, I'll just sack Kiram W right here. And like I said, if I got that extra life orb damage, I would have just died the last turn. I still would have gotten the uh, Ice Beam damage off, so it was like, whatever. But uh, anyways, he's going to switch out now as I go into Arceus because he knew I was going to extreme speed. So I'm like, okay, we'll just go for extreme speed because I just want to try and kill that ho because like I said, it is a huge, gigantic threat. But he's going to go to Groudon. I do score a crit with that, that extreme speed, which may or may not matter too incredibly much just because I'm going to go into Genesect here because I figure either way, if I got crit or not, he is just going to want to get his rocks up because he knows he can wall me. So I'm going to go into Genesect because I know I'll get the special attack boost. And then I can fire off a uh, plus one ice beam, which I don't know how much ex or prior damage I would have needed to try and take him out with the ice beam. So I'm not really sure if someone wants to run a calc, cool. But if not, whatever. But anyways, he's going to go into Ho-Oh now. I don't really want anything else to take a sacred fire because I don't want anything else burned. So I'm just going to sack Genesect. Even though Genesect would be a huge help, I should be able to deal with the rest of his team just fine, so I'm just going to sack it, like I said, and then go into Arceus and hit him with an extreme speed. Nothing on his team really wants to take it, so he's got to choose what to sack, and he decides Ho-Oh is his least useful thing, but then again, all of his guys are useful in the end, but it's just a matter of, okay, what's going to be the most, most useful, which he decides, all right, Ho-Oh is low, we'll just let it go. Now he's getting on Eladia, so I'm just going to extreme speed it, just because I didn't know if I'd be able to live a Draco or not, since... He will obviously have the soul do, so there's a good chance it will take me out, and it does take me out, so I am glad I extreme speeded. But then again, maybe with the life or damage I could have lived, who knows, I don't know. But the point is, I die, but now I'm gonna go into Rayquaza just to extreme speed him and take him out, because that's really all I can do right now, so that's what I do. And now he's dead, as you can obviously tell. So now he's gonna go into Kirim, I don't want to take an Ice Beam, I still know I need this Rayquaza, because I can at least extreme speed this thing if I have to later on. Or his last guy, which I kind of forgot at the moment, but I figured Rayquaza would still be useful. So, I'm like, alright, well, let's go to Pharaoh, see what he wants to do. He does go for the Ice Beam, I see how much it does, so I assume he specs. So, I figure I should be able to go to my Latios after I sack Ferrothorn and let it die. And then just go for the Dragon Meter to take him out. And he decides to just sack the fucking Kiram so that he can get a free switch into his last guy. Which could potentially wreck my shit if all goes well for him, but I don't want it to all go well for him, so, yeah, I don't know, but now he's gonna go to Blaze again, he just protects, just cause he wants a free speed boost, which isn't really too big of a problem for me, I'm just gonna go for Surf, even though Sun is up, I just wanted to try and get a move off that wouldn't miss, and would net me some nice extra damage, just so Extreme Speed will take him out, 
but he goes for Flare Blitz. Even in the sun, it's unfortunately not able to take me out. Take me out. And I said fortunately, not unfortunately. But uh, yeah, I do get the Surf off. So with that much damage, Extreme Speed will easily kill him off. So that'll be pretty goddamn nice. So he is going to take me out with the Flare Blitz. But like I said, since he's so low, no way he's living in Extreme Speed. And this is his last guy. So I can just go into Rayquaza and lock myself into Extreme Speed. And then just wreck his shit. So... Yeah, chain speed, and that'll be the match because he has no other guys left. If he did, I probably would be screwed because he probably would have something to take in extreme speed and then kill me. But yeah, that is the match. So good game, Yaos. Fucking weird shit at the end. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Whatever. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, nothing else to really say. So blah blah blah, etc. Recommend sub, and later, guys.